Alright guys, let me show you guys a uh, open guard pass. So let's start from here, okay? Open guard, disengage. Push, hip pull, big stand. Control the hip, head. Alright, let me talk about the details. So right here it's very normal. But we see people come here, number one mistake, control the pants. As soon as I control the pants, if he holds my sleeve, he can't step in my bicep. Okay? Number two, when they come here, they give the leg. Once I give the leg for him, is when I use more arm than legs. So I like to be free, okay? If I give my leg for him, okay, it's when he, he can't stop me. So here, my toes guys are on the ground, knee forward. If I step with my heel, is when he has the like, heel like the goal, okay, for every life from guy. So right here, number one, my hand is open guys on the chin. Right here. If he, even if he can make it with my sleeve, try to step my bicep please, I can control him. Okay? So right here, look, weight on my toe, knee forward. One mistake, another mistake people do here, guys, when, when they try to do the leg drag, they pull the leg. As soon as I pull, he bring back, okay, the reaction. I like to push. As soon as I push, he keep the leg, okay, it's a reaction. Another mistake is uh, pass the leg, trying to go to side control. As soon as I go to side control, guys, as soon as he don't have the legs anymore, he's going to extend his arm. Okay? If I fight against his arm, bring the leg in, he can replace the guy. So, once I'm past his leg, right here guys, I need to control the hip. Okay? People talk a lot about like old school and new school. I don't know like when new school start, but the concept is always old school. From over 100 years, for you to pass a guy, they have to control your point of hip. Which technique you're gonna use after that? Is a matter for a new school, old school. You have to control the hip. This is gonna be forever. Even if you don't like old school, you have to control the hip. So right here, as soon as I pass, boom, control the hip. As soon as I get here, you can see my knees not up. If my knees up, it's step on the ground, move here. Okay, you can replace guy. So I drop right here. Look. I create, I, I use my, my foot just like a hand, then I drop. Even if he can step on the ground, he don't have the same strength to move the head. Okay? Right here. So this side right now, hand up this side please. If my knees up, I give too much space. I want you to hold his head. But if I just hold the hip and I don't create a connection, he can fight back. So right here, look, I bring my knee. Okay, just to support my hand. So, my legs just like a hand, now I go to the arm. If I stay here, use your arm to push your bleach, yes, just like bench press. Right here is very easy, right here is very hard. So I make a grip, guys, I go inside, drag my weight forward. Okay, toes on the ground, connections. So right now, I like to mount. So right here, look what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna use my free leg to hook. Very small change. Then again, go to mount. Again, you start from the big drive control. Push, big step. My knees right here, look. Control it. One thing, guys, I use here a lot, you guys can see my leg moving fast. It's because my weight is, on, is never on my leg. My weight right now. As soon as I don't have a leg to fight, my weight goes to him. If I'm here, my weight is on me. Okay? I don't have a leg to fight, my weight has to go to his chest. Forward. So right now, look, I can move my leg fast. No matter how much you weigh and how athletic you are, if you don't keep the weight back, you can move your legs. Alright? Thank you.